Time for more. I'm joined now by Francis Ricciardone, who formerly served as President Obama's ambassador to Turkey. He's now director of the Atlantic Council's Rafiq Hariri Center for the Middle East. Um, ambassador Ricciardone, thank you for joining us. So just how significant do you think it is, Turkey entering the fight against Islamic State? Well, I think it's hugely significant. Uh, it's a, a strategic mistake, I think, on the part of Daesh or the so-called Islamic State from the beginning to have challenged Turkey. You know, a year ago, they took 40 Turkish diplomats hostages. That was a huge mistake to start. So I don't think the Turkish uh, enmity toward them began just this past week. There was a further mistake in uh, at least inspiring terrorist acts inside of Turkey. Turkey is a serious, stable state of law. It is not a failed state like uh, Assad's Syria. It's a very different enemy for ISIS to have provoked. And what do you make of this idea of the U.S. and Turkey creating some kind of buffer zone along the border between Turkey and Syria? What difference would that make to the fight against Islamic State? Well, I'm listening very carefully to the statements by both governments. I'm not a part of either government, and I don't see that they've yet come to full agreement on that particular concept. But it seems like they're narrowing the uh, differences on what that would mean. It would be very important to... Uh, secure Turkey's border against foreign fighters' ability to cross, at least those who are not favored by the Turks, the United States, and our other coalition partners. So I think that's the big significance of the, uh, the so-called buffer zone. There isn't one there yet. It sounds like Turkey's getting greater control of its borders, thanks in no small part to the Kurdish fighters on the other side who have sealed it off against ISIS. Well, yes, now NATO meets tomorrow. Do you see NATO endorsing, obviously, not only the campaign against Islamic State, but how about the campaign against the Kurdish militia in Iraq and Syria, it seems? Well, there's been great NATO solidarity in any case, not only against uh, Daesh or the so-called Islamic State, but also for Turkey's right to defend itself against the PKK. And I was glad to hear your reporter uh, noting that uh, not only do the allies, the rest of the allies draw this distinction between the PKK, the Kurdish, uh, the Kurds of Turkey who are in rebellion against the state of Turkey. And on the one hand, and on the other hand, the Kurds of Syria who are not attacking the Turkish state and who are among the most uh, enthusiastic and dedicated fighters against ISIS. So if indeed Turkey is now itself drawing that distinction, that also is a very important thing. Ambassador Richard Ernie, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, my pleasure.